Hello there. Suppose we need to find derivative of a function y of x given by the equality on the board. So where to find derivative of a function given implicitly? For that we need to differentiate both parts of this equality, but always keep in mind that y is a function of x. So for example sine of y is a sine of a function of x and this is a composite function because y is a function of x as well as y squared is a squared function of x we know that to find derivative of a composite function we need to apply the chain rule so derivative of sine of y equals cosine of y which is the derivative of the sine function times y prime, the derivative of the inside function. And y squared prime is 2y, the derivative of the squared function, times y prime. Now let's differentiate our equality. Derivative of 3x squared times y squared minus 5x plus sine of y equals derivative of 3y minus 1. Let's begin with the left part. Derivative of 3x squared times y squared minus 5x plus sine of y. It is equal to the derivative of 3x squared times y squared minus the derivative of 5x plus sine of y prime. In the first addend we have a product. Let's factor out 3 and now let's apply the product rule to find this derivative. x squared prime gives us 2x times y squared plus y squared prime times x squared is 2y, the derivative of a squared function, times y prime, times x squared. The second term gives us just 5, and we also know sine of y prime, cosine of y times y prime. Now the right part. Derivative of 3y minus 1. Actually, it's the derivative of 3y because 1 is a constant and its derivative is 0. And this gives us 3 times y prime. Now let's rewrite our equality. On the left, we have the following expression. Opening the braces, we have 6x times y squared plus 6y times y prime times x squared minus 5 plus cosine of y times y prime. And it is equal to 3 times y prime. To find the required derivative, let's solve this expression for y prime. For that, let's move all the addends with y prime to the left part. y prime times 6y times x squared plus cosine of y minus 3 equals 5 minus 6x times y squared. Whence y prime equals 5 minus 6x times y squared over 6y times x squared plus cosine of y minus 3.
So here we found y prime. As we can see, it contains y, but that's okay because our function was given implicitly.